just about to say good morning there, but it's definitely not the morning. It's now half three. It's half three. Uh, what? How is it half three? How are we all? I hope you're all well. Welcome back to a vlog. Um, yeah, a vlog that starts at half three in the afternoon. So hopefully that gives you sort of an overview of the whole vibe of this vlog. This video is definitely like, oh shit, I've committed to two videos a week and this week has just been crazy video. Get what I mean? I've been kind of here, there and everywhere. I was in Brighton on Monday and Tuesday. What was I doing? Oh, I did my January favourites then. Um, I will link that up there for you, you can check that out. And then I went to Bristol on Wednesday, I went to Norwich yesterday, and then this morning, that's where you saw me wake up. I left there at 10, got back here about three. So considering there was a bit of snow last night, I'm quite happy with that journey. It was three trains, three tubes, and a taxi, but I made it, it's all cool. Um, the book events this month have just been so, so incredible. I've done eight of them in total, um, kind of like all, over the place and it's just been so incredible to meet you lot and talk about the book and it just feels really different it feels really fun to like do something new and do something that I haven't really ever done before also my fear of public speaking I'm like eight events down and I'm absolutely loving it like in in my eyes the bigger the audience the better like what what a 180 I cannot believe it I actually look I look forward it's a public speaking, I look forward to that bit. Like, who am I? <laughs> a greasy egg right now. Um, but yeah, it's been so good for so many reasons. But tomorrow I'm going to Toronto. I'm doing another event whilst I'm there, actually. I will link all of the info for that down below. Um, it's not a ticketed event, it's just like a Facebook page where you can kind of say you're coming just so we can get a rough idea of numbers and how many chairs to put out and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's not ticketed, everyone can come, Alana is going to be the cue to my A, she's going to be like hosting the event with me and I cannot wait, it's going to be so much fun. Um, side note, there has been a delay in the publication of An Edited Life in the US and Canada, forces out of our control unfortunately, so the date's been pushed back a bit, but there will be a limited number of books available in Canada and actually, oh I need to pick that up from the post office tomorrow, um, I made a papier order and I've got some like personalised stationery so if you haven't got the book and you can't get the book for any reason I will sign a little like placeholder for you that you can put inside the book when you get that. So I'll be there for signing things, photos, Alan will be there, it will be so much fun. Also, oh my word, more, more events! Amsterdam, um, that is happening. They've just increased the amount of people who can come, so there's tickets available for that. I will link that down below for you as well. Also thinking that LA, San Francisco, and New York might happen as well. Oh my, like what? If I do those three dates, that'd be 20 book events in total. Like, I, what, <laughs> what is my life? Anyway, let's stop rambling about that. Links for all of those will be down below for you. Um, but yeah, today, my plan, for the nine hours that are left of today. What I kind of need to do is clean the flat because my in-laws are coming tomorrow. Mark is hosting his parents who are here for the weekend. Um, so I kind of want to do like my side of the cleaning just so that is like done. I need to unpack from Norwich. I need to repack for Canada. And then I want to do all those, you know, those like beauty things that you do before a holiday where you like paint your nails and like have a nice bath and shave and tan and stuff and also wash my hair at some point, that would be nice. And then also relax, um, that would be really nice. Some chill time with Mark this evening would be really nice. I said to him um, at the beginning of the week, I was like, if I'm working, be like, no, like I have to just spend at least an hour like watching The Office, having a snuggle, that would be lovely. Less talking, more doing, see you soon. Okay, we're doing it. It is now quarter past five. This is the remnants from the Norwich trip. So I'm gonna go through and do like a bit of a speed unpacking for you. And actually it is quite exciting because I've had this cabin bag next, like out and next to the bed since like late December. I went through over the Christmas holidays and like packed my makeup and packed my toiletries and it served me very well. I was very happy with the outcome, but basically because in January every week I've spent at least two nights, if not three nights away, um, during the week I just kind of kept it out like I sort of unpacked my clothing but kept everything else in there the same but 
over February, aside from Toronto and aside from Amsterdam later on in the month, my weeks are actually at home. Actually, that just means there's only two weeks at home. <laughs> but that's a lot for me right now. Um, so I think I'm gonna finally put my mini cabin bag up there, which is where it normally lives, and like pack most of my bits back. Anything that I think I'm gonna need for Canada, I'm gonna leave out on the bed. And I think after this, I'm gonna do a very quick clean of the flat. It's actually quite clean. I was like, has Mark cleaned it whilst we've been away? It seems kind of nuts to clean it on a Friday night at probably like 6 p.m. But my in-laws are coming tomorrow and you know it has to be clean for the in-laws and they're staying, you know, you don't want it to be dirty for them. And also I feel like doing it weekly and keeping on top of it just means that you never have like a proper grim clean. You know, we haven't cleaned for a while and it's proper gross and it takes hours. I'd rather just like throw a vacuum around now and hopefully it won't take as long. So I'm in my comfies. Speed unpacking. going to be a proper clean by any stretch of the imagination. I think when I'm doing the daily edit videos, the video every day in March, I might do more of a speed cleaning section. So I think I might just treat you to like one room and then just get on with it because I just need to get it done. And then we can pack, which is the fun bit. Because Mark is the best person in the world, and here it is, making my dinner for me and cutting up these mushrooms. <laughs> can you please cut up the mushrooms very, very small? <laughs> Do I, giant gardener? Um, I approve of these mushrooms. Thank you for cutting them so small. I'm supposed to finish this Hello Fresh by now. <laughs> Spent half an hour chopping mushrooms. I'm a bit of a mushroom hater, but I'm trying to get myself into them. And actually, as an adult, I don't find them as repulsive as I used to. But I still have to cut them up really small. <laughs> oh, bless you. You're too good for me. Um, Mark has also said that he will do the cleaning on Sunday. And basically saved my life so thank you i was finding the placement of the cleaning in tonight's schedule slightly stressful so this has opened up a space for me to possibly have time to paint my nails tonight and um, whilst mark is concentrating on the mushrooms thank you like genuinely thank you That's all right, mate. you're the best um i'm gonna start packing for Canada and the extremely cold weather. Um, in this section, if you are Canadian um, or if you've been to Canada in the cold, please feel free to just like berate me below and be like, oh, girl, you are not prepared for this at all. I'm sure I will watch this video back when I'm actually in Canada on Sunday and be like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Um, so I'm just gonna get my suitcase down and then let's start. So Mark very kindly got the suitcase out of the loft for me, wheels off the bed. Don't worry, they're not touching. And this is why um, capsule wardrobes are a good idea because I had all of my summer clothing um, stored in the suitcase in the loft. And, like this is what my wardrobe would look like if it had my summer and my winter clothing in it at the same time. Like look at that. How would you find anything? There you go, this is an advertisement for the capture wardrobe, if I've ever seen one. Um, I think what I'm gonna get started with is hand luggage, which I put in this Saint Laurent tote. I use this all the time. Um, it's so good because it fits a MacBook in. It's one of very few bags, like fancy bags, that can fit a MacBook in. Um, and this is just always what I use for my hand luggage. So I kind of normally start with packing that first, just because that gets some of this stuff out of the way and then that's one thing done and then I can focus on everything that goes on in my packed like checked in bag. So in here I put my laptop at the back. I always travel with my laptop but don't know why I just like to have it and also I'm hoping to maybe like write a blog post or two on the plane. Um, and my book that I'm reading at the moment, the Michelle Obama one, Becoming, is massive um, but I feel like that has to go in there. That's my prime like source of entertainment so I would throw that in. And we're also going to put this little bag in there. This is a bag that I keep pre-packed that's got like medicines in, compression socks, a spare pair of pants, eye mask, mints, um, kind of all like bits and bobs that are really handy to have in your carry-on bag that aren't liquids. This is like my non-liquid essentials bag. So I'm gonna throw that in. 
and then I've got my liquid essentials bag. I'll come closer and show you what's inside. This bag is from Space NK and in it, it's just got all my like beauty bits. There's like a bioderma in there. Ooh. There you go. You can see I've got like deodorant, bioderma, and we'll eat a skin food, a perfume, a jade roller. This is some of the Josh Rosebrook um, hydrating accelerator, like decanted out, anti back hand gel. Um, I've got some like mini eye masks. This is like a body deodorizing sheet, um, toothpaste. I love this. Um, I feel like this is so good for flights. The Vix First Defense. It's supposed to like defend you when you get a cold, um, but I like it as a nasal spray because my nose gets really dry when I'm up in the air. So that kind of keeps me going, keeps me nice and fresh and I keep that pre-packed as well. So that's just like ready to go. I know it's only like a five, six hour flight, but I think I'm gonna take my travel pillow with me. It's like a memory foam one and it's just so darn comfortable. So I'll either pack that in or I'll like tie it onto the side so that it's attached in some way. Oh my God, why aren't I using my packing list? Be right back. There you go, long haul checked baggage packing list, a list for long journeys and trips that span upwards of five days. Um, if you want this packing list, it's available as a free PDF download from my website. I'll link it down below for you. Um, also, like my Star Alliance card, um, my travel insurance card, and my passport. I feel like they might be a bit important. Um, so here you go, hand luggage bag, passport, yes. Purse, let's sort that out. Now when I'm packing in advance, if there's anything that I can't pack at this precise moment, AKA phone, which is the next thing on the list, I just write it on like a little mini list here that I can just tick off before I go tomorrow, make sure that I don't miss anything. I mean, hopefully I won't leave my phone behind, but you never know. The Bose wireless headphones are life. I think these are fully charged as well. I charged them the other day, so popping those in. I'm gonna pop my phone charger in there and my AirPods as well, because you can never have too many headphones. These will be good to take with me anyway. I've already got my earplugs in there. I've already got my book in there. Um, I've put extra layer of clothing, but this is only like a five, six hour flight. So I think I'll be all right on what I'm wearing. And I'm planning on wearing like a lot of clothes on the plane. So I don't think I'm gonna need that. Um, so that is my hand luggage bag, done. I've just packed my beauty bits into this makeup bag and very kindly gifted to me by NARS. Um, and not for sale in the UK, it really should be. It's a perfect makeup bag. It's just the right size. Although I will admit that I really have to squish everything in and I'm not gonna show you what's inside because I'm kind of concerned that if I did, um, that it would never close ever again. Also could possibly be a video I do with Alana. We'll save that one. Oh, the suspense. Um, but Mark just told me that dinner is ready. Look at that. Dinner's done. It was delicious. I'm basically avoiding packing clothing because I've, I've done this bit here, the hand luggage bag. Then we've got clothing here. And then after that, I've got electronics, toiletries, makeup and extra things. So makeup is done. Extra things I'm gonna grab now. Um, all of this toiletry bag stuff is kind of already packed. Um, I've got, this is another one of the Space NK ones. This is all my skincare. This is all my kind of bathroom bits. There's some, um, yeah, that's fake tan, kind of grim. Just in case you never know, there's kind of body bits in there some mouthwash like toothpaste my razor so that's kind of like bath and shower bits and then in here I have all of my hair bits so they're gonna go in now then I've just got electronics um, and I've got all my travel adapters in here they're all good to go laptop and the charger is probably gonna go in my hand luggage and um, then hairstyling tools and kind of extra chargers this is all gonna go on this side of my suitcase oh that's my makeup pop that there and then on this side I'm gonna have all of my clothing so I think I'm just gonna try and do this little spot first <laughs> Saved Lizzie Hadfield's um, like trying on every single thing in her wardrobe series for like a moment where I could just sit and enjoy it. And now is the time. So thank you, Lizzie, for that. Um, her channel is Lizzie Hadfield. If you want to check it out, this video is wonderful. Um, also, this is now done. I had a few extra things I wanted to put in here. Top secret, maybe presents for people um so i've just packed those in but that is that side all ready to go there's a little bit of spare space which i'm quite happy with i might need that for extra clothing 
or maybe like things that I buy in Canada so a bit of extra space is cool or maybe to put a pair of shoes or something now I think it is time for the clothing I've I've put it off long enough I like to kind of cheat and get the easy bits done first and these packing cubes are from away um, I think I bought them about oh, 18 months ago now um, they still do them they're slightly different they've got like mesh on the top which is actually much better these are part of a um, Rashida Jones collection that they did so hence why they are the same color as the suitcase um in here i've got underwear so like pants socks and um, black bra I'm gonna wear my nude bra on the plane so that's all sorted in here i've got workout gear alana suggested that we might go for some workouts whilst we're there so i've got some trainers in there and then two sets of workout gear and then in here i've got pajamas i've got um, a pair of leggings two t-shirts one hoodie a pair of big fluffy socks and also my slippers yep they are no longer on my feet they are in here oh i just feel like you know you want it to be homely you want it to be cozy i absolutely adore them slippers so that actually only leaves us with this much space for uh, proper clothing so the space that i've got on the other side could come in quite handy although i feel like a lot of my bulky things i'm gonna wear on the plane but let's go through them all now i just went under my bed and got out some of the like super super cold weather things that i keep in there um so i think in the corner of my suitcase i'm gonna have like a cold weather contingency set i actually found i mean i bought these today from oliver bonus they're really nice gloves because i thought i didn't have any gloves completely forgot i had these fancy schmancy north face ones which you can use um your phone with hello taking those gonna pop those back in my wardrobe and um, i've got like a hat i have i think three thermal tops and then also a pair of thermal leggings as well. I don't know how cold it gets. So I feel like that should do me. I'm actually only there for four nights. So that should be okay. I've got this like Uniqlo um, ultralight down jacket as well, which is so good at like insulating and giving you that extra thermal layer. So I think I'm going to pop all of those in the corner so that's all good to go and then i can just focus on hopefully more fashionable things that will also keep me warm oh also this i like to make a little pile of things over here with my hand luggage bag which is all ready to go and this is going to be my outfit that i'm going to wear on the plane and that is my whistles parker jacket that is like the warmest one that i own so i feel like there's no point even taking another coat i feel like that is the coat that i'm going to wear that's going to keep me warm that's cool we'll leave it there Whenever I'm a bit confused about what to pack clothing wise. Oh, thank you to the lovely lady at the uh, Bristol event that gave me these post-its. They've come in very handy. Um, I find it really handy to do this and actually just write down like what I've got on each day and what outfits I need. So for me, travel outfits, very easy to plan. You just need something that is comfortable. Um, but although I'm only there from like Saturday to Wednesday, I've got quite a few things. I'm thinking I might need different things for like the day and the evening. Um, on Monday morning, I think I'm going to be on live morning TV in Canada, Toronto. I'm not 100% sure. I'll pop it up on Instagram stories or on Twitter when I know. Monday night is the event. Tuesday day, Tuesday evening, Wednesday day, and then Wednesday evening, I travel home. So I think I might start with the travel outfits. They're just kind of always the easiest to do. And then maybe here also, because obviously, you know, they're the big days and people are going to see me. Um, so I'm going to find those outfits and then work back and sort of see if I can incorporate those items into other things as well. So I can fit everything in that little hole. <laughs> so for travel, I'm always gonna take my coat, the and other stories boots, and I've got my Loewe puzzle bag. I forgot a bag, but thankfully, because of my list, I remembered. Instead of stuffing it in my suitcase, which I don't feel too happy about, I'm actually just gonna take it along with the YSL. And I can put things like my passport, my purse, like things I need to grab a little more frequently in there. And then I think for travel, I'm gonna do, I love this t-shirt so much. I'm gonna do my Topshop jeans, and these are just the raw hem straight leg ones they are like so comfortable for me at this point they're kind of stretchy and they're just not too tight um you want to be comfortable and then oh who remembers this jumper i was saving this for spring but i found it under my bed and i was like i love this jumper i love this color um so i'm going to wear this on the way out there and then on the way back i'm going to do probably the same jumper and also the same jeans but i'm just going to change 
the t-shirt underneath this is just a black and other stories one so keeping that very simple so travel is sorted so i'm thinking for the tv interviews and also the event i just want to feel confident but feel really like me and myself and feel really good in what i'm wearing so i'm really enjoying the um the redone high rise stovepipe leg jeans i just feel like they're very flattering um, I feel like they fit nicely. This is an equipment silk shirt. So I'll either kind of, I'm thinking this for the event and this equipment silk shirt for the TV interviews, but I might switch them around. Although that on TV, oh my word, maybe not. Camera operators hate it when you wear like lines and dots. It just does not look good on screen. And um, so yeah, I love this one. It's so simple. I've had it for ages now and I just feel really good when I wear it. So I think that is Monday morning and evening done so for the remaining five days i'm gonna make myself like a mini capsule wardrobe almost with these items here um i like to have like different denim options because it's just what i enjoy to wear so i've got the black denim i thought it'd be really nice to have a cream pair and also just like a mid blue rinse pair um because i feel like the ones that i'm wearing for travel will probably just be for travel and then i thought i've got a mixture of kind of day and evening so i thought if i take three top options that are more like evening options but also really handy if me and Alana are like filming things and I don't want to be wearing the same thing in every single video. This is just my black wool turtleneck. This is a like fancy little top that I bought from Rouge. It's called the frou-frou top I think. It's like a little like bobbled velvet in a way. It's really cute, definitely more of an evening piece. Very plunging neckline, not very Canada, but it's cool. I really enjoy this frame like polka dot shirt. I've had that for ages. Could be another option if I change my mind about like what to wear for the event. And then at the top, I've got three knits. So I've obviously got that massive green knit that I'm traveling in. It's not in direct contact with my armpit. So I could be all right to wear that again. But just in case I thought I've got three options here. This is from Cezanne. This is from Equipment. This is from Norse Projects. And they all sort of work together. There's like a nice little color palette going on. So actually, this is everything clothing wise that needs to fit in there. So I think we're doing all right. So this is it, I'm all ready to go. There's my pants, my socks, my outfit, my two bags, my suitcase. You got me. Oh, I know. Next time I go to Canada, you're gonna come with me, I promise. I'm glad, yeah. I wanna go to Canada as well. We're going to California in May. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, for like three weeks. <gasps> oh, people wanted you to talk about your masters. Maybe now isn't the time. Would you like a video where Mark talks about his masters that he is doing in his spare time because he is a motivated genius? I don't know whether I could do a whole video about it. No, just like a little section of a vlog. Okay. If you have any particular questions you would like Mark to answer, put them down in the comments below. That's a good idea. I'm better with questions. Yeah, then you'll have like specific talking points. I'm not very good at just like talking. That's me. We're the yin to each other's yang, that's why. Yeah, I'm a question kind of guy. Oh, I know what else I was going to say. If there's any videos that you want me to make with Alana, also let me know. Pop those in the comments. Videos that you'd like me to make with Alana and questions for Mark. For me. Now, can we watch The Office? I fell asleep watching The Office last night, actually, in Norwich, in my premiere in. What do you mean, didn't wait for me? Well, no, I was watching, I was watching <laughs> other episodes. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wasn't watching, like, the oh. current ones that we're watching. Hmm. I fell asleep, do you know what time I fell asleep last night? What time? 1am. Oh, it's because we went together. I know, I can't sleep when I'm without you. We're it's so... true. I stayed up to watch Another Lay Miz last night. Did you? What time did you go to bed? Quarter to twelve. Oh, God, we're, we're terrible apart. We're much better together much better together um but yes i will see you on wednesday hopefully with a toronto vlog and i can't wait i will miss you and then i will be back and we'll do a vlog with mark but let's face it you're gonna have a great time in canada with that you're gonna have a great time without me no i won't i've not really got well oh you yeah, know well because i've got my parents on the weekend yeah, that'd exactly. be lovely you're doing an escape room on sunday doing an escape room oh yeah, yeah got you've got, to got do, loads, loads to do thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon with a brand new video goodbye See, my fan looks three times the size. It's yeah, but it is. Oh, it is. You, I thought you were going to do like a little like... <laughs> 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 <laughs>